Hi kitties, welcome back to my channel. I am Mindy Singh and today I'm gonna be sharing my Nykaa Pink Love Sale skincare, body care, hair care and little bit of makeup recommendations. If you wanna know the skincare products or makeup products I am recommending for this year, this video is for you. Also, I'm warning you before starting this video, there are gonna be a lot of rosy things <laughs> in this video because I am currently obsessed with roses, at least for this month. <laughs> so yeah bear with me also like guys 90s is back i am obsessed with butterflies i have butterfly hair clips butterfly earrings butterfly iphone cover and butterfly umbrella like also like my hair was not behaving today so i just put them in a ponytail and yeah this is how they are looking i hope you guys are okay with it and you guys have been complaining that you want a long form video like the old times so this video is going to be a long one so bring your snacks bring your burger fries your popcorns and let's just begin with this video already i don't do long intros but you guys miss my chit chatty thing so yeah I'm gonna be chit chatting and sharing my skincare recommendations. So let's start with cleansers and I've been obsessed with cleansing oils. I've seen a prominent shift in my skin. So a few months ago, I tried the Plum Hemp Seed Cleansing Oils and I haven't looked back, you guys. Before this, I was using the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. I still recommend it, still love it. But if you're looking for a cleanser that is under 500 range, I would recommend this one. And it removes all the waterproof makeup, even your waterproof mascaras which are so hard to remove and this cleansing oil is actually better than their cleansing balm which I have raved about for years that one is also really really amazing but this one is so much better and that's why I recommend this and then for the water-based face wash I still recommend the simple face wash it is like the best face wash ever okay so let's talk about some rosy things that I was talking about uh, in the beginning so I've been obsessed with love beauty and planet muru muru butter and rose delicious glow body lotion it was a mouthful to say but this one smells like roses i mean it's so good i noticed if i apply this in the morning it lingers on my body by the evening so love the fragrance also love the body lotion like it's so moisturizing and lightweight for the coming summer time and if you guys shave your body like me i've been shaving my body hair for so many years almost 10 years so this dove shower mousse in rose oil oil variant is my favorite smells so amazing like roses i think many of my subscribers have tried this shower mousse but just in case you missed on this amazing product and if you do the shaving i highly recommend that you include it in your shaving routine it makes shaving so easy like it just takes me two minutes to do my whole body shaving like what it's so good trust me on that and not the kind of roses that give you headache i don't like sweet smells sweet scents so you can take my word that these smell amazing and delicious. So give me a subscribe before we move on to the next. Also, I'm gonna be unboxing what's inside this box on my Instagram stories. So if you wanna know what's inside, uh, make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave the link in my description box. This video is not sponsored or anything. They sent me this box. I haven't even opened it myself. I just looked at what's inside. And then I was like, okay, they are having up to 50% off. Let me share my favorite skincare makeup products that I've been loving and would recommend to a friend to a family so yeah these are the products like best of the best and have been tested thoroughly by me on my skin I'm gonna be honest with you guys like I cannot recommend you anything that I haven't tried on myself or if it's not a hundred percent yes I don't recommend it that's simple so let's begin with the toner set I've been loving Lanish creme skin toner and moisturizer this one has become my favorite toner of this year consistency is so milky and it gives a velvety finish on the skin it has meadow foam seed oil which has become one of my favorite ingredients i have repurchased it so many times it's not like every other toner in the market it's one of a kind and that's why i highly recommend that you try it summers are coming and you guys know i love to apply rose water toner on my skin before going in with my vitamin c serums and moisturizer uh, it just hydrates 
make your skin and make it supple. I love Kama Ayurveda Rose Water Toner, but I very recently tried the Sadev Rose Water Toner and let me tell you, it's so amazing. So if you want to try a new rose water toner, definitely give this one a try. I wet my face with this rose water toner and then I go in with my Lanish toner and it instantly make my skin plump, dewy and give this boost of hydration that my skin need. And in the summertime, you're gonna love this. So yeah, my room smells like roses right now. Okay, so I have a new lipstick. I'm just going randomly with body care, hair care. There's no timestamps. So yeah, you have to watch this whole video now. <laughs> I wanted to try the NYX Powder Puff Lippy for a long time because of this wand, like this applicator they have. It feels so nice and cushiony on the lips. I haven't tried anything like this. I have the shade Squad Golds. It's a very muted pink shade, like the kind of shirt I'm wearing. It matches that. I'm wearing this lipstick on my lips, by the way. It's a moussey formula and it turns into a powdery matte finish. And I've been obsessed with shades of pink, like 90s are back. And it's a beautiful, rosy, muted pink shade that I love for the month of February. So, so let's talk about the oxybenzone and OMC free sunscreens that I recommend currently. First is the minimalist SPF 60. It's a hybrid sunscreen formula. It's free from oxybenzone, OMC, all the oldest sunscreen filters that I don't recommend on my channel. Also, it does not make my skin oily, greasy, or does not leave any white cast, which I hate. Also, they have mentioned it's pregnancy safe as well. I have an upcoming video on minimalist skincare that I actually like. I know I don't like minimalist skincare, most of them, because they always react on my skin, but this one did not. Last year in December, I ordered a bunch of minimalist skincare because I really wanted to try their SPF 60. You guys know how hard it is to find a sunscreen that's brown skin friendly, works for Indian weather. So I recommend this one. Also, I recommend Quare's SPF 50, which I've been recommending for a long time on my channel. This one is a tinted mattifying sunscreen. It gives a matte finish on the skin and this one is more on the hydrating side. And my all-time favorite sunscreen that just blends into my skin seamlessly like you're just applying a moisturizer is by Laneige, the Radiant Sea Sun Cream SPF 50. It's a little bit expensive as compared to the other sunscreens that I mentioned, but it just blends seamlessly into the skin. It does not leave any trace on your skin, does not make your skin oily, greasy, see no white cast freaking love this sunscreen and it just has fragrance in it no alcohol but fragrance so if you guys are allergic to fragrance um you can skip on this one these two are fragrance free by the way but i love this one i've been using it non-stop uh so now let's talk about the moisturizers guys i love so many moisturizers and i just switch between a lot of them but right now i've been obsessed with my old favorite and it's the Clinique Moisture Surge. Yes, I reordered it, I mean repurchased it because I've been missing it. Especially, you know, when summers are coming, you're gonna need some gel-based lightweight moisturizer which keep your skin hydrated for a really, really long time. This one is like no-brainer. I love this one and I have never tried a moisturizer like this. It's fragrance-free, alcohol-free, which I just love. And my current favorite ceramide moisturizer is by Plum. It's their hemp and ceramides moisturizer it's one of my favorite ceramide moisturizer currently it's so lightweight for a ceramide moisturizer and it gives a velvety finish on my skin which i love and just blends seamlessly into my skin i've been obsessed with it and ceramides are like building blocks of your skin they are like cement that hold the skin cells together so they are essential for your skin health that's why i love having a ceramide moisturizer in my skincare routine especially if you're like in your late 20s and in your 30s um, because it's really good anti-aging ingredient but any age group can use this moisturizer really so let's talk about serums i have so many of my favorites but i'm gonna be sharing only one serum for every ingredient like one serum for niacinamide and all of that so let's start with the essence slash serum you can use this as a serum or as an essence after your toner and before your serum so you guys know i'm a huge fan of cosrx advanced nail 96 mucin power essence it's so affordable 
affordable and it lasts you really long time like at least if you use it every day four months it will last you and it gives a beautiful glass glowing plump skin also dissolve your smile lines and wrinkles if you have them but very recently i tried the cos rx advanced snail radiance dual essence it is a combination of snail filtrate plus niacinamide in it which is amazing because it also gives a brightening effect on your skin i'm not sure if this one dual essence is available on nika for now but they will be very soon ordinary is going on some sale i would recommend these three serums these three are my favorite products from ordinary multi-peptide and hyaluronic acid serum this one is so amazing if you're like in your late 20s in your 30s because it has so many peptides it helps you age gracefully it also makes your skin really smooth and supple and ordinary hs serum is the best hyaluronic serum i've ever tried here if you're looking for a hyaluronic acid serum go for the ordinary you will never regret it also the ordinary 10 percent niacinamide serum for those people who have acne prone skin type or if you have pores on your skin i would highly recommend this and especially for the summertime that's coming it's gonna be really sticky and um, humid so i would recommend to go for this niacinamide serum if you're looking for a budget friendly vitamin c serum i would recommend the plum 15 percent vitamin c but this one has ethyl ascorbic acid so it's not as effective as the clear's vitamin c even though it's like five percent only but it has purest form of vitamin c l ascorbic acid so that's why it's more effective vitamin c is beginner friendly and very affordable that's why i really like this serum and if you're looking to start with the retinol i would highly recommend plum one percent retinol serum they don't promote this serum but this one is bomb it's so good and i love that it has bakuchi also it's very nourishing on your skin as well does not dry out your skin so yeah which retinol can do uh, but this one does not also my current favorite eye cream is again by cos rx it's one of their newest launches advanced nail peptide eye cream also i love the vitamin k eye cream by dr petit but both of these are not available on nika so if you want to invest in eye cream i would recommend that you get it from limes i would leave the link in my description box my most problematic area on my face is my eye area it easily get dehydrated and then i get these dark circles that's why i swear by this cosrx peptide eye cream and the vitamin k eye cream that one is like under thousand so more affordable and i swear by vitamin k and this one kiddies did you know that dove exfoliating scrub also come in crushed almonds and mango butter variant let me show you the deliciousness it smells like summers and looks like a mango shake and it even moisturize your skin this body scrub is not like any other body scrub it effectively remove dead skin cells rough skin and if you have these dark patches on your elbow this one helps so i highly recommend it and this variant is my favorite till now these three are my favorite body care products of this year dove shower mousse love beauty and planet rose body lotion and dove exfoliating body scrub with mango butter should we talk about some hair care then i would talk about some of the remaining skincare products that i haven't talked about but are my favorite also if you guys have body acne i would recommend this ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution it exfoliates your body but also hydrate you can use it on your face on your hair on your body everywhere so yeah so if you're looking to invest in a glycolic acid toning solution invest in this one like glycolic acid toners are one of my favorite products for the brightening effect if you have never tried them you are sleeping on it like it's gonna transform your skin into a glowing goddess skin trust me on that like these are like my favorite i started with the pixie glycolic acid toner and i've never stopped purchasing glycolic acid toners because they are my favorite toners but always use it in the night time and when you are going out in the sun next day always apply your sunscreen and don't apply it if you have bruises on your skin because it's gonna hurt otherwise it's good to go and i just totally recommend them pixie glotonic will always be like up there on the top and my current favorite is the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution but for if you like starting with the glycolic acid toner i think you should start with pixie glotonic because it will really show you the difference the difference it can make in your skin and if you want an affordable glycolic acid toner that is like under 500 dr shed glycolic acid toner love that one let's talk about some of the hair care favorites of this year if you guys are serious about your 
hair health then make sure that you watch this portion so my favorite hair oil these days is by plum onion bringraj hair growth oil onion has high sulfur content it promotes hair growth and bringraj stops the graying of your hair it also has curry leaf and amla oils which is like vintage hair care ingredients it has been used for hair care from ancient times so i totally love this and recommend it for shampoo i love the olaplex shampoo it has been my favorite from the last year and i would totally recommend this on this sale also the plum avocado oil shampoo if you guys are looking for affordable shampoo go for it it gives a lot of volume to my hair but also moisturize and hydrate them which i love it makes my hair super soft i love that shampoo instead of using conditioners i actually use hair mask on my hair after shampoos like on the ends of my hair and it actually performs better than conditioners and the shampoos that i mentioned are sulfates free now let's talk about the hair serums so let's start with like affordable hair serum and it's the biolage or biolage smooth proof avocado deep smoothing serum the serum cost only 310 rupees and it's very very lightweight it does not weigh your hair down one of my favorite holy grail hair serum is moroccan oil treatment even if i have lots of serums with me i always repurchase this one i literally have three more hair serums waiting for me to just use them but i always repurchase it because i was missing it my hair was missing it i use it for like special occasions because it is expensive like when i'm filming my videos i have this on my hair or if i'm going somewhere i have this on my hair so that's when i use it and i always have like a mini bottle with me so if i'm traveling i keep this one with me because it just get my hair frizz free manageable soft smooth shiny everything i'm looking for a hair serum and lastly this hair care product that you should always use before using heating tools on your hair using hair straightener or curler on your hair because heat can really damage your hair so make sure that you spray your hair with tony and guy heat protecting mist and it provides damage protection up to 230 degrees celsius so make sure that always include this in your hair care routine i quickly want to mention this cute baby this is the bomb dia bright body cream it's so amazing like it smells delicious and i just love the fact it gets absorbed into my skin like this i also tried their boom boom cream but i did not like how it smelled like it was too sweet for me but this one i actually love how it smells on my body and it lingers on my body for whole day it also has fruit aha's which exfoliates your body and vitamin c which gives your skin that radiant glow uh, i just wanted to mention it i know it's expensive but if they have any sort of off or sale i think you should try it it's something new that excites me so i wanted to mention it i also have been using estee lauder advanced night repair serum a lot these days that's why i wanted to mention it if you're like confused with all the serums that i mentioned in this video i think you should go for this one because it does everything your skin needs it has peptide complex hyaluronic acid digitata seed extract ferment filtrates which are amazing for your skin i rarely mention lux skincare products but i mentioned the ones that really really works and this one is totally worth the money the moolah that you spend on it this year i tried more peels but didn't like any of them and i would still recommend the dr shet peels because these are so so gentle on the skin do not go for the ordinary peel you guys it's going to hurt your skin especially for the brown skin like high percentage of aha's and bha's which you don't really need it will hurt your skin more than do benefit but i do recommend the dr shet medium strength peel and extra gentle daily peel both of these have 5% glycolic acid toner so it's not much difference medium strength peel has 2% salicylic acid but the extra gentle peel has 5% lactic acid which is like gentler form of aha so this one has only aha and the medium strength peel has both aha and bha i find both of these very gentle and beginner friendly so love these my last skincare recommendation for today's video is for those people who have acne scars and active acne is like really acne prone skin type this one is going to be a hero for you like heroine for you <laughs> this is a centella blemish cream by cosrx it's a hidden gem not a lot of people talk about it but i freaking love it i always repurchase it because whenever i get acne on my skin i use this as spot treatment and you can also apply it where you have like dark patches or hyperpigmentation it also helps with that and because it has centella asiatica it's very soothing and calming on the skin so if you guys have like redness this 
just works okay so yeah that's all for my skincare body care hair care recommendation and now let's talk about a little bit of makeup recommendations because i know a lot of you actually like my makeup how i do my makeup so yeah let's hang out i don't have a lot of makeup recommendations but i have very few most of these have those beautiful rosy tones which suit medium tan dusky indian skin tones i am like a medium tan skin tone let's start with the maybelline fit me blush and it's in shade proud it's a beautiful pinky muted pink mauve pink blushes look really beautiful on indian skin tones if you have never experimented with the shade range trust me on that it's not gonna wash you out also it's affordable but you do have to reapply it few times it does fade away fairly quickly which is what happens with maybelline blushes but i do love this shade because you don't find this shade in like affordable blushes range so that's why if you want to try a new blush this shade is perfect for the month of love february and the liquid blush that i recommend is by charlotte tilbury glow gasm this beauty light wand in shade pinkasm is my treasure it literally matches with the shirt that i'm wearing i am obsessed with this shade of pink and if you are also obsessed with this shade of pink go for this one you guys i know it's expensive but trust me it's a treasure for the makeup lovers recently i also tried the huda beauty fox filter concealer in shade granola and it's the perfect shade for my under eyes i finally found a perfect shade of concealer for my eyes you guys i know i was using the too faced bond this way concealer before it and it was too light for me some of you actually mentioned it so i think i found my shade of but i still love the too faced bond this way concealer for highlighting and brightening my under eyes eyes i also love the pixi on the glow blush stick tinted moisturizer it's like hybrid skincare and makeup product it's a beautiful rosy pink shade and i doubt it's going to be in stock but just in case if you find it in stock i actually got this on the last nike pink sale for really really cheap so totally recommend it let me share what i'm wearing on my eyes today i want you to do a pink eye look and i used a natasha denona mini crush palette it's a beautiful eye shadow palette and charlotte tilbury pillow talk eye shadow palette i am personally going to buy charlotte tilbury pillow talk eye shadow because i'm finished with this glitter shade i actually bought this palette because of this shade it gives a wet glitter eye look and i have never used anything like this i've used it non stop for 2 years every time i do my makeup for my birthday makeup look for everything special i use this glitter shade that's how special it is and i'm gonna actually buy it i hope they at least have 20% off on this and for mascara I love the Too Faced better than SEX mascara also the Essence uh, Lash Princess mascara but it's always out of stock that's the sad part and Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara by L'Oreal these three are my favorite mascaras foundation ka to you guys know Estee Lauder double wear foundation is still my holy grail I also love the Dior foundation for like everyday purpose because very lightweight so anyway lastly let's talk about some of my favorite lipsticks I always already talked about the NYX powder puff lippy in shade squad gold it's a beautiful rosy pink shade if someone asked me to describe february month of love in a form of lipstick i would go for first dance by charlotte tilbury it's a beautiful rosy pink shade it's a classic i finished half of it and i think i'm going to finish this whole lipstick which would be the first one i've never finished a lipstick and i have used it non stop you guys and um, packaging is undoubtedly so beautiful beautiful so apt for this month and then i paired it up with maybelline lifter gloss now that i've used it for some time i actually prefer them over my fenty lip glosses which is like new to me and it's actually a good thing because it saves me a lot of money <laughs> my favorite affordable lip liner set i used all the time is by nika lips don't lie in shade just bitten it's a beautiful nude pink shade which will flatter indian skin tones like dark skin tones i love this shade just bitten uh, especially for this month and that's all for today's video thank you so much for hanging out with me today it's a long video and i really appreciate when you actually hang out with me till the end if you're single living away from your family without your loved ones i really hope this video brought some love color and light into your life i strongly feel that this month represents celebrating love it can be love for your loved ones love for your pet love for 
just things, the stuff. Celebrate all kinds of love. That's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye, kitties. Mm -hmm.